Hello friends! There's a total of about 2 million species of living organisms known to science – animals, plants and fungi. However, according to scientists, even more species, about 6 million, haven't yet been stumbled upon by the biologists and are still waiting to be discovered. However, there are people who believe that some of the new species that they have come across aren't really from Earth, but rather actual aliens. When you love fishing, you usually have an idea about what kind of animals are common in the place where you're going to go fishing, so you take the appropriate fishing tackle. There usually aren't any surprises in this case. However, when these people went out to sea, something went wrong. That looks terrible! What kind of animal is this? The woman screamed, seeing an unknown monster instead of the usual little fish. The footage shows the creature twisting and turning. The man who caught it in the sea couldn't identify what it was, so he called his mother for help. Seeing the catch, the woman was also surprised, to put it mildly. They fished the unusual creature out of the water, but it was impossible to be certain about what it was. On one hand, the creature looked like an octopus, since it had something that resembled tentacles. Some sort of mutation could have probably occurred, making its head huge and adding a monstrous mouth and the breathing hole where the eye should have been. The woman posted this video on one of the social networks, hoping that someone might know what kind of creature it was. However, even though some people saw a resemblance to a squid, the majority were sure that it was some kind of a representative of an extraterrestrial civilization. This creature was caught on Coney Island in New York. However, geo-referencing also failed to help the identification of this marine inhabitant. And here's another living creature, no less mysterious, which was recently caught on camera. Thousands of users and various experts are now wondering what exactly it was that got filmed with a deep-sea camera. An underwater robot from one of the oil companies filmed a very strange creature in the Gulf of Mexico. The experts put forward a variety of hypotheses, ranging from some rare deep-sea jellyfish to a whale placenta. However, this creature has organs that are completely different from that of a jellyfish. It has something that looks like tentacles, although someone suggested that it might be some kind of appendage. What do you think hides under the ice? At a depth of 900 meters under the ice, at a temperature of negative 2.2 degrees Celsius, in complete darkness, 260 kilometers into the open ocean, you can rarely find any life. Therefore, the researchers from the British Antarctic Survey were struck by the find they made during a preliminary survey of the seabed under the Filchner Ice Shelf in Antarctica. A team of geologists was drilling the Antarctic ice to take samples of bottom sediments when they stumbled upon a boulder, which seemed unusual in itself. However, the creatures that looked like sponges and were clinging to this boulder amazed the scientists even more. This is the first colony of attached marine animals found in such conditions, and it's possible that this species was unknown to science at the time. The researchers said the discovery raised many questions. How did these animals get there? What do they eat? How long have they been here for? How common are these boulders covered with living things? And finally, what would happen to them if the glacier collapsed? So the scientists don't really know anything about the newly found creatures. The experts will continue their research to find the answers. And here's another unusual discovery. A woman named Claire from British Wales found a mysterious dead creature on the riverbank. It looked like a fish and a crocodile at the same time. Animal rights activists are concerned about these photos. Claire told reporters that her teenage son had discovered the creature on his way to school. He immediately called his mother to tell her about his find. The animal was real. It smelled bad and was beginning to decompose, says Claire. The woman posted pictures of the unusual creature on Facebook. Netizens immediately identified it as the alligator gar, a large fish native to North and Central America. Keeping alligator gar in captivity has been prohibited for many years. These animals are very difficult to take care of, and they can grow very large and their needs in captivity remain exactly the same as they were in the wild. Unfortunately, the owners often discard the exotic animals when they realize that they can't properly care for them, said a spokesman for the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Alligator gar can grow up to 1.8 meters and can weigh over 45 kilograms. Perhaps all these creatures will soon be studied, and they won't seem so surprising to us. After all, some creatures that inhabit our planet look too unreal and are too rare to be seen in everyday life. For example, 
There are animals that have been considered fictional by science for a long time. For example, there's nothing surprising about the fact that people used to think that this animal was fictional. On one hand, this animal looks like a beaver, and on the other, it looks like an overgrown duck. This crossbreeding between an animal and a bird refuted all that was known about the Australian fauna. Until recently, the very real carcasses of animals were believed to be nothing more than stuffed animals. They were thought to have been made by talented taxidermists from different parts of various animals using threads and a sewing needle. Animals such as okapi were also considered to be fictional at one point. People that have traveled to the mysterious lands in Western Africa have reported seeing some strange, unusual creature in the forest. These rumors were most commonly heard around the area currently occupied by the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Descriptions of the animal were very strange. It was an ungulate, somewhat like a deer, but with stripes on its back, a zebra. At the same time, no one could either catch the mysterious beast nor even examine it up close. Because of the aura of mystery hovering around this animal, it was nicknamed the African Unicorn. However, the researchers eventually admitted that it was a new species. Remember the amazing stories by Howard Lovecraft about the extraterrestrial underwater giants that inhabit the depths of the ocean? Many sailors throughout history have told of huge tentacles that emerged from under the water and could drag an entire sloop or a yacht to the bottom of the ocean. The Scandinavian legend of the Kraken is the most striking example. Surprisingly, all of these stories have a very real basis for them. In 1925, G.K. Robson published a description of a squid called Mesonicotuthes hamiltoni. Robson based his description on two tentacles found in the stomach of a sperm whale. Over the past 90 years, only a couple of individuals of this species have been found, and therefore our knowledge about it is still very scarce. One thing is clear, the Antarctic giant squid is the largest known squid species, with at least one individual found being 4.5 meters in length. And who would have thought that someone might not know what a giraffe looks like? The scientific name for this animal is Giraffa camelopardalis. The last part of the name dates back to the Roman Empire, when Julius Caesar brought a giraffe to Rome from Alexandria. This was the first time in history that a giraffe came to Europe. Various writers of the time described this noble beast as a hybrid of a camel and a leopard, but only in order to give the reader of an idea of the animal's appearance. Thus, the Roman senator and historian Cassius Dio described the giraffe as the so-called camelpard, a camel in all respects, with the exception of a long neck and body proportions, but with spotted leopard skin. And that's all for today, friends. Share your thoughts about today's episode in the comments like the video, and don't forget to share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.